even though Napa was our home and, you know, we felt like we were, you know, really trying to build community here and, and be a part of making Napa a great place for people like us and our friends who live here, um, you know, we were just starting to feel like maybe Napa didn't want us and that we were getting priced out and, um, you know, it. so we started to think or look if there was another place that was, you know, better for us. just because homes were being snatched up super quick. I think we saw a lot of homes, uh, there would be lines around the corner for people to get in to see the home, which is super discouraging um, for any homes that, are, that were in our price range. I think we ended up bidding on three houses. Yeah, we bid on three houses before this one. Three houses before this one. Yeah. Um, each time we lost out, especially by like a pretty good margin too, it was pretty discouraging when they tell you, hey, we, you know, you weren't even in the top five bidders. Yeah, um, there were 12 offers and you guys weren't even top three or top five. And they were going um, for well over asking too. Well over asking. Hard. And we were putting it at the top of our budget and just even getting to like a uncomfortable place. We found out about the house um, and went to see it. And I think we just knew kind of the minute we walked in, it felt it felt very much like home. Like I think I said, it reminded me of my grandmother's house in the best possible way. Um, there was some things that needed work, a little bit of you know um, uh, deferred maintenance that could be done over time, but it was entirely moving, you know, ready. It was livable. It was livable. There were yeah. lots of projects everywhere. There was lots of things that like we saw a lot of potential, um, and we saw a lot of, that we could do and kind of build value here. Um, but, you know, that said, we had to put in new floors, we had to um, put in a hearth around the fireplace, we had to paint, um, just to get in, just to move in. Um, and so, you know, there was definitely work, and it's a quirky house, it's made of cinder block, which is a little funky. Um, so I think not everyone wanted to, like, do as much work as we were willing to, to make this place, you know, we had a vision, we saw what it could be, and, you know, it's, again, projects everywhere, but we're really excited um, to see how it all kind of turns out.